This painting was, I believe it was an eight by 10. And I, you can see I mounted this on a, on a board and it was done on a paper made by Arches. It's a, it can handle oil paints. I like how it absorbs the paint. It, it absorbs it a lot. So some of you might not like it, but um, yeah, I just wanted to show you how I go. I know it's sped up a little bit uh, here, but how I go about laying in a painting and, and things that I look for, things that I eliminate. Uh, generally, I start from dark to light. You can see here, um, blocking in big shapes, using bigger brushes. Um, the brush that I use, it's a little, like a little hardware brush. The, the reason I like it, because it forces you to use paint. Uh, so again, I just, I, not, I try not to look in detail um, in, in the beginning. I try to uh, set up my value relationships, the big picture, not the little stuff. The little things I can add later, but uh, as the painting is developing here, you can clearly see that I'm looking at big shape, large shapes. I'm looking at angles. Um, not really looking at anything, any any detail whatsoever, uh, visually. Even though I see with my eye, I try to look past it, I squint down. And I'm sure you heard the squinting down is, a, is an important thing because it really helps you to uh, to get rid of detail. And then you get into a uh, little fun stuff like the window because I'm, I'm using a smaller brush here. Again, just looking at value relationships. Uh, the, the paper dries a little bit darker here when it when it, when it soaks in, in the uh, in the paint so if you're going to use this arches oil um watercolor it's i mean it's, it's a watercolor paper but you can use oil paint on it basically and it flattens out fairly fast so it, it does dry a little bit faster at least on the surface um versus if it was canvas and i love using canvas too um spe specifically the clausen's oil prime canvas but this is not it or just use a regular cotton duck, you know, acrylic prime canvas, but this is not it. Um, I go dark to light. Uh, I wanted to convey light here as this, uh, this is a morning light at Santa Fe. This, this image is from Santa Fe um, as the morning light was pouring in. Um, it's not easy creating light in, in, a, in a painting, um, too much white can, you know, kill the intensity of the color. So I have to be careful on how much white that, that I'm using. Uh, you need to use white, but um, in, the, or in the building, the, the warm building, I try to limit my use of white, basically. And I'm adding, in, I'm overlaying the trees. So you saw what I did here is that I painted in the light behind it, and then I overlaid the trees over it. That way you get a, a more poetic uh, feel to, to the painting. You're not painting around things. That's another big one. You don't want to paint around objects. Um, it will look forced when you start painting around it. I, I try to go for, uh, for poetry, um, looseness, and uh, it's not an easy thing to, to get in each painting, but at least I, I try to go for that. Um, this could be possibly a bigger, bigger painting, but I just want to share with you my process and as you can see I'm, I'm laying some other colors over it a little bit i'm not just leaving it as one one color there's other colors mixed in there that's like cadmium orange base and uh some glossy and a yellow or 